Traditional Newa Jewelry Communities around the world have developed their own dusting cultures, customs, cuisines and clothing styles. However, one of the most noticeable differences between communities lies in their appearances, including facial features and attire. An integral part of any traditional costume is the jewelry worn, which can span from head to toe. One of these distinctions is their attire known as hakupatasi. In addition to their traditional clothing, the jewelry worn by Newa women is another prominent feature that sets them apart. Traditional Newa jewelry is not only visually captivating but also carries specific cultural significance. Many Newa girls and married women hold a deep desire to build a meaningful collection of Newa jewelry. In this context, we offer detailed insights into the intriguing world of Newa jewelry. Lusuan, the term Lusuan translates to golden flower. This particular piece of jewelry is typically associated with wedding ceremonies and is worn by brides. The Lusuan is positioned on the top of the bride's head and is crafted from gold in a circular shape. Among Newa jewelry, the Lusuan is arguably one of the most captivating pieces. It takes the form of a circular dex adorned with intricate florent patterns often fleeing three to five birds or peacocks attached to the dex using a spring mechanism. The spring arrangement creates the illusion of the birds dancing with every movement of the wearer's head. In some cases, the central part of the Lusuan may feature a substantial image of Lord Ganesh crafted from coral and adorned with exquisite design. The Lusuan is typically reserved for the bride to wear on her wedding day or during festive occasion. It is also worn by groom's mother when she visits the bride's home to bring her to her new marital home. In exceptional circumstances, it may be worn by the Lady of Honor during significant religious ceremonies. June clip. The term June in Nepalese refers to the moon and when combined with clip, it signifies a hairpin adorned with the crescent moon symbol. These June clips are typically crafted from gold or gold-plated materials. They represent a type of traditional handmade hair jewelry used as a hair clip. Kilip. The kilip, as its name suggests, is a hair ornament worn at the back of the head. The word possibly originated from the English term clip. It is an intricately designed oval shaped hair accessories featuring a cluster of flower motifs and often adorned with a peacock or crescent moon shape at the top. Kilip serves as a hair clip, typically secured at the back of the head. The backside of the kilip includes a locking mechanism. In hilly regions, kilip is commonly used in pairs. Essentially, kilip is the clip used for tying and managing hair with the term evolving in Nepal. Nyapu Sika Nyapu Sika is a distinctive piece of hair jewelry worn by Newa women. Nyapu translates to five, while Sika means golden chain. This ornamental accessories features five sets of interconnected chains that resemble a hand fan. It is typically worn on the side of the head and secured within the hair. Nyapu Sika is commonly adorned by new brides and women dressed in hakupatasi attire. In some instances, a variation known as Chapu Sika with eight chains is also utilized. Sirbandi Sirbandi is a type of jewelry typically worn by brides during wedding ceremonies but the specific custom surrounds its use can vary among different communities. It is positioned in the center of the forehead and features three rows of decoration. One row extends straight up, while the other two run along the sides of the ears, and they all came together and are fastened at the back of the hair. However, if the bride is already wearing a lusoin, the sir bandi may not be worn. Nevertheless, in contemporary times, it is still commonly worn by girls during Ihi and Bara ceremonies. Santwansa Santwansa is a distinctive hair ornament worn in Newa culture. It has a unique design with the hanging pendant resembling a fist. These pendants can also have a bell-like appearances due to their shape. Santwansa is typically made of silver 
and is commonly worn by girls during the Ihi and Bara ceremonies. Makansi Makansi is a style of earring characterized by its bucket shape or u shape design. It is typically worn in conjunction with the traditional Hakupatashi attire. These earrings are crafted from materials like gold or silver and are suitable for everyday wear with various Newa outfits. Tuki Tuki is a significant piece of jewelry reserved for women in the Newa community. It can be worn after participating in the Janku procession, a celebratory event that takes place when a woman reaches her 77th year, 7th month and 7th day on earth. After this ritual, elder Newa women wear sets of tuki which consist of rows of heavy double stud earrings. While most tuki earrings are plain, some features intricate floral designs. Tuki is a form of double stud jewelry that is inserted into the helix of the ear. Pianka Ongu Pianka Ongu is a finger ring, and in Nepal Vasa, the word Pianka means dance, while Ongu means ring. As the name suggests, it is often worn by traditional dancers during their performance. Additionally, gods wear this ring during ceremonies like Ihi and Bara, as well as in weddings. Typically, Pianka Ongu is an oval shape with no specific motifs and is crafted from silver. Osarfia Ongu Osarfia Ongu is a type of ring that features a coin on the top. Hina Ongu Hina Ongu is a ring that consists of multiple layers of ring, typically made from a single piece of metal rounded around to create distinctive design. Tayo Tayo is a traditional Newa necklace crafted from gold, holding both symbolic and religious significance. This necklace is a remarkable piece with intricate craftsmanship and holds deep symbolism. It is typically worn by women, brides and even female deities like Lokeshuri, Yoginis, Deepankars and Kumari during special events. Tayo symbolizes various aspects including the Kathmandu Valley, Pancha Buddhas, Mahayan Buddhism and the universe. It features a central jewel beneath the snake's head representing the Soembu stupa of the Kathmandu Valley. While tayo is predominantly made of gold, brass is occasionally used. The twin pendants are said to represent the Kathmandu Valley with the upper part denoting its direction. In ancient times, this hollow pendant was believed to carry good luck. Brides often wear this necklace and it is also seen adorning the neck of renowned goddesses like Kumari, Lokeshuri, Yogini and Deepankars, typically on special occasion. Tikma Tikma is a circular necklace commonly worn by young Newa girls during their childhood. This necklace is adorned with green colored stones, adding to its charm and significance. Tikma is a stunning and attractive piece of jewelry reserved for special occasions like Ihi and Bara. When girls wear this necklace, they are often regarded as embodying a form of a goddesses, emphasizing the cultural and ritual importance of this accessory. Jantar Jantar, also known as amulet, is a traditional gold ornament with a history dating back to the 19th century. It is adorned with a prince of symbols like fess, butterfly and colors, all of which are associated with good luck. People wear Jantar to protect themselves from evil forces and attract good fortune. This ornament can be crafted with plain prints or embellished with Navaratnas, which are the nine types of colored stones. The pendant of Jantar, from which the jewelry drives its name, is typically square in shape. Gao Gao is a necklace like jewelry pieces associated with Mahayan Buddhism and worn by Newa women. It features an amulet box pendant adorned with precious stones. These stones are believed to represent the Pancha Buddha of Swembu Stupa. This jewelry exhibits strong influence from Buddhism and Tibetan styles. Notably, you can observe four stones placed on the four corners of the box and one at the center. Bimpuma Bimpuma is one of the few ornaments that can be worn by individuals of all gender groups. The simple yet captivating necklace is crafted by stringing together coral beads, typically in sets of red, 
on the single strand. Bimpuma is often paired with traditional newa attire for special occasions. Additionally, children may also wear it, but they typically wear it on their hands. Company Sika or Asarfima Company Sika, also known as Asarfima, is a necklace made from coins, especially gold coins. This jewelry item is crafted using gold coins and is commonly referred to as Asarfima. While it's not exclusive to the Newa community, it is often worn by women from all community. Women typically wear Asarfima on significant occasions such as wedding and traditional or cultural events. Baha Sikama Baha Sikama is another distinctive ornament within Newa culture. It stands out due to its unique design, which consists of interlocked circular ring forming a chain-like structure. Potachi Sika Potachi Sika is a simple gold chain that many Newa women prefer to wear in their everyday life. Kali. All kalis are crafted from silver and are typically foot ornaments, resembling anklets but thicker than traditional ones. There are various types of kali, each named based on its unique composition and design. Singhakwa kali. Singhakwa kali is a straddly ankle adorned with intricately carved lion faces. The name Singhakwa itself means lion's face. This anklet is typically U-shaped and doesn't have a locking mechanism. You simply needed to slide your feet into it. Zongi Selaya Kali Zongi Selaya Kali is quite similar to Singakwa Kali but appears larger and is hollow from inside. Tutti Buggy Tutti Buggy is a unique ornament that is worn on the bride's feet. It is traditionally placed on the bride's feet by her father-in-law when the wedding is concluded and she is prepared to leave her parental home. This moment represents the first and last time the father-in-law touches his daughter-in-law's feet. Tutti buggy typically consists of a pair of anklets that are flat and usually plain in design. Thank you.